Dear colleagues, dear friends, as Christina said, time has come for what is in the program referred to as my closing remarks. I'd like to begin by thanking Christina for sharing so well yet another high point in the many wider conferences, wider annual lectures, workshops, project meetings, wider and you, the wider community, have launched over the last 10 years. In Europe, in Helsinki, Oslo, Stockholm, Copenhagen, London, Paris, Geneva, Rome, in Africa, in Maputo, Johannesburg, Pretoria, Cape Town, Dar, Nairobi, Accra, Addis, Kigali, Mauritius, Harada, Lusaka, in Asia, in Hanoi, Nipido, Tokyo, Seoul, Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou, in the Americas, in New York, Washington, Buenos Aires, and so on. In all of these many places around the world, as shown as this world map. I believe it's fair to say that we have been present around in very many different places in the world and tried to exercise some wider impact. The closing panel today was most thought-provoking for me, and I think it was a very appropriate response to our request to stimulate thinking ahead. Or as we always say in wider, thinking ahead of the curve, something which is, of course, much easier to say than to do in practice. In passing, by the way, there was one session on Africa's youth, and we do have one book by Daniel Resnick and her husband, <laughs> which is up there which is freely downloadable, thanks to the two of you for bringing that topic in some time back. My respect and sincere gratitude to Benno, Anne, and Ravi for inspiring presentations. And my very warm thanks to each and every one of you here present who contributed to this conference as wider annual lecturer, as keynote presenters, as plenary and session speakers, discussants, poster presenters, and participants at large. Now, we did entitle this conference Think Development, Think Wider for a Reason. We, the development community, must dare to ask the wider, bigger, and more difficult questions. And I believe it is fair to say that this is what we have tried to do over the past 10 years, and some of the results of this has been, have been displayed over these past three days. May I add, it has already been mentioned that this is my last conference as wider director, and I could not think of any better way to conclude the many wider development conferences for which I've held ultimate responsibility over the years. Here's a montage of just nine posters that we have produced in, in this period, <clears throat> and also the poster for Think Development, Think Wider, of course, reminds us of the many, very many different topics and issues that we have tried to address, including just recently migration in Accra. Ladies and gentlemen, I joined WIDE almost a decade ago in early 2009, and today I stand here with a strong desire to share with you what a fantastic experience it has been. I've been so greatly honored, and it has been such a great pleasure to serve you in this capacity. I learned a lot from all of you and the many, many colleagues I've met here and on my quite few international missions. I was advised not to mention how many. <laughs> I also learned a lot from immune trials. For those of you who may not know, the Moomins are a family of white and roundish trolls with large snouts. And the Moomins have taught me a lot of things. They have taught me a lot about the Finnish mindscape. They were created by Finnish-Swedish writer Tove Jansson between 1945 
1977. And then Moomin's stories have been translated into more than 50 languages. Someone has said that the more the world would resemble the valley the Moomin's inhabit, the better the world would be to live in. I agree. And let me add, the world would do well to pay close attention to Finnish thinking and the core values the Moomin's stand for. Kaushik made reference to globalization and to values that were to be taken to the table in this sort of world, global society that is evolving. I would suggest that the Moomin values, which you can see here listed, that they should definitely be taken to the table. And maybe slightly more personal, let me try to elaborate a bit more about three of the fun fundamental Moomin values to good human behavior. It is not inappropriate to say things as you see them. It can often be considerate or even polite. Shyness is a great strength. It allows you to use your senses and intuition. A shy person is often more present in the moment than one who never keeps quiet. <laughs> Tolerance. A machine makes copies. Nature does not. What may seem unusual to some people may be as normal for Finns as breathing ice cold air. We should cherish diversity, not contest it. You and your wider became, and Helsinki became my Moomin Valley for a decade. And I stand here today with my head and also my heart full of gratitude to the many colleagues and collaborators. And I'm sorry, I'm losing it a bit. Such a fantastic experience. To the UN director for his steering, to the members of the wider board for all of their insightful advice, chaired first by Ernest Ariyiti and now Ravi. What remarkable personalities and academics you are. To the core donors, the MFA of Finland, CEDA and DFID, and the other funders that support PIDA directly or indirectly. There are so many individuals here that I can't mention you all, but rest assured that your understanding and foresight in deciding to support you and your wider is something that I will forever carry with me. You have my respect for the hard work that you are doing, often under quite difficult institutional circumstances. To the you and your wider personnel, you my daily colleagues, during almost 10 years here in this building. How can I ever manage to express how much I respect and appreciate the hard work and affection you have shown. Tony, we shared quite a few ideas over numerous lunches while discussing how to run the Institute. Thanks. Paul and Dominique, your admin and program management was absolutely fundamental for the success we have experienced. And without you, all the wider research, communications, and support staff, yes, each and every one of you, you and your wider would not be anything like the special institute it is. For all of this, I'm immensely grateful. Please allow me to add as well that an essential element in making the past decade such a wonderful experience are all of the many friends and colleagues I was allowed to engage with all over the world in the UNU wider global network including the AERC, of which I'm continuing as an active member and I'm proud to be associated. That was something really special, which I will cherish as long as I'm allowed to be around. I've sometimes been asked what happened to me when I joined the Institute here in Finland as a somewhat shy Dane by the name of Finn. Well, why the 
did what Jim Morrison from The Doors sang about in 1966. Why do manage to light my fire? Jim Morrison sang when I little understood it, that the time to hesitate is through. There is no time to wallow in the mire. Try now, we can only lose. I think that should go for the international development community as well. And Marty Artisari, one of the founding parents of WIDA, said pretty much the same thing in his motto. I don't know whether this is the first time that Artisari and the Doors are being compared, <laughs> but when he was awarded the coat of arms of the Riederholman Church and the Royal Order of the Seraphim, he who dares is able. This principle has always guided WIDA, and what I realized in 2009 is that there was no time to waste because wider and the work wider does is indeed more needed than ever. In the midst of the challenges and experience in so many other places, both within the UN system and, and beyond. My understanding is that the world expects wider to exercise initiative and leadership, and I believe we do just that. Another favorite folk song of mine, Joe Cocker, sang in his gritty voice, Love lifts us up where we belong, where the eagles cry on a mountain high. Yes, the lift has indeed been going up, and fortunately, we did not shy away from pursuing ambitious goals, and WIDA has, I believe, managed to keep the flag flying high, in spite of the rough times that have also been part of the experience over the past decade. Ambitious, yes, but always with an eye to what was required to succeed. Please allow me to add that I also learned a number of things about the principles of management. Leading an organization through existential disruption can be done, but is not about ruling with an iron fist. Leaders are there to inspire, not to decide everything. A chief should articulate a vision and provide the conditions for their team to perform, but he or she should also understand that their business is operating in constantly changing circumstances and anticipate change. Diversity of staff and thought is essential, but it should go beyond gender and nationalities. It also includes experiences and generations. Now looking ahead, it's an immense pleasure for me to welcome my successor to Union Wider. I'm truly delighted Professor Kunal Sen is here with us. He's an excellent fit for the job. And it is my sincere hope and also my sincere request that you will all work with Kunal as the new director of UNU Wider as constructively and positively as you always did with me. Joe Cogger sang this time in 2004, Nupli never forget. And he added, every generation has its way. Yes, sure. I did it my way, as Frank Sinatra reminds us, and I guess I can also state my case. I said the things I truly feel and not the words of one who kneels. But what makes me really happy today, and very relaxed actually, is that I know that Kunal will also do it his way. That is exactly how it should be. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kunal warmly as I now get ready to leave wider in a few months' time. I, I should not continue for much longer, but I also do wish to express my apologies for the mistakes that I certainly made over these past 10 years in the midst of hectic activity. Uh, Ravi Kambu, who is, as you all know, a wise man, he once said, who you are as a person and as a director is going to show in all of the many, many decisions you will have to make along the way. Little did I realize at the time that it would, for example, include responding on average to an email every 10 minutes 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, for 10 years. <laughs> so I do apologize for the mistakes. I hope you will forgive me. To be sure, 
It has both been an immense honor and a great privilege to serve as wider director, and I can assure you that while it has been a lot of work, it has also been a lot of fun, the right fun, Paul, and delightful learning. And this is due to all of you, the wider community. And as I now prepare to find my way back to Copenhagen, I can't quite say that I don't know the way. I've, <laughs> I do know the way to Copenhagen, but I'm still going to try to find my way back into my office in Copenhagen. I can't help think of Marilyn Monroe. She once said, success is a wonderful thing, but it does not keep you warm at night and you can't curl up with it on a cold night. I've had the good fortune of having lived in two excellent, well-heated apartments in Helsinki and a fantastic office. But sure, there have also been many cold nights where I miss my family, including the two wonderful granddaughters my wife and I have been blessed with in recent years. And you know what? My first granddaughter is called Maya. In Sanskrit, this refers to the name of an Indian goddess. And to those of you who speak and understand Finnish, you will know that Maya means something important to every Finn, namely the traditional lodge or hut, a den where people can pursue activities in private, or more, bro more broadly, where you belong and your soul finds rest. And since I now managed to get myself into Sanskrit territory, I wish to conclude with another set of insights that has mattered a lot to me over the years and which has served as a guide when I got up in the morning, wherever I was, in one of the 317 places where I have worked. This is what Sanskrit has to say about life. Look to this day, for it is life, the very life of life. In its brief course lie all of the varieties and realities of your existence, the bliss of growth, the glory of action, the splendor of achievement, for yesterday is but a dream, and tomorrow is only a vision. But today, well lived, makes every yesterday a dream of happiness, and every tomorrow a vision of hope. I think the international development community should insist on that vision of hope while we do try to change the world and address the challenges that are still out there, and there are a lot of them. It's time to say farewell. Good luck to all of you in the coming years, and please all travel safely back home. And please do remember, WIDA does depend on your returning the evaluation forms you will receive <laughs> in the coming week. And now to the closing dinner and conference entertainment. I hope to see you all there. And on the way out, uh, feel free to grab uh, one of the shawls or wraps. It's a small, colorful gift from me for you or your partner or spouse, uh, which I bought when I was last on field work in uh, Vietnam. It's my hope that you will accept this as a warm farewell present uh, from me uh, to you. Thank you so much for your attention today and for the past 10 years. Thank you.